if 10 people have heard the term, they probably have 10 different definitions. I give a very simple definition for biomass. It's biological activity that we can convert into energy. Pennsylvania's got a lot of potential actually in, in biomass, bioenergy. We've got sources like timber, grains such as corn, soybeans, landfill gas, municipal solid waste. It's the greenest of green. The really nice thing about biomass is the fact that it's renewable. The concept of sustainability is a good one. It's one that people have to understand because if they think that you're just going in and removing all the trees from every acre of ground just to keep us avoiding oil, that's a mistake. The Northumberland facility uses wood as a fuel. The wood in chipped, sized form is brought in in trucks. It's moved with a conveyor system. The wood then is moved into the plant. We burn it in a highly efficient furnace. Water boils. Steam is collected and is moved through into a turbine. It's connected to an alternator or a generator similar to that that's in a car, and it makes electricity. Because this is no longer a manual operation for purposes of safety and for purposes of efficiency, they use heavy equipment. But the places the heavy equipment goes are planned. Sustainable forestry is a manner of managing forests such that they are selectively harvesting so that a given tract of land does not deplete its resource uh, ever. The Turpike has over 560 miles. Well, our main mission is to provide a reliable and safe, efficient toll road system for our customers. The Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission is actually leading the way for Pennsylvania agencies using biofuel. Our dump trucks primarily operate on diesel fuel. However, in the last several years, we've changed in a couple of our locations to biodiesel. Biodiesel is a product that's primarily produced from soybean oil. Soybeans are grown for chicken or poultry feed, and they're crushed to get the meal out of that. And the, and the oil is kind of an afterthought. The oil here has to then be taken and run through a transesterification process. What that does, it takes the glycerin out of there, uh, which is also usable for other products. Once the glycerin is taken out, it's blended so that there's 20% of that soy-based oil mixed in with a petroleum diesel. And that blend can be run in, in any diesel engine without any modifications whatsoever. There's a lot of things that's nice about biodiesel. It's got a better energy balance. That means it takes less energy to produce a gallon of soy-based diesel than it does to produce a gallon of petroleum-based diesel. It's an all-American fuel. All the soybeans are grown in this country. And it's cleaner. It has fewer air toxics. So it's got a lot of bang for the buck. In the steel industry, everything's large scale. You have high capital costs, high labor costs, and high energy costs. We've got numerous landfills in the state. All of those are generating landfill gas. We have a bit of an advantage with our natural gas. It's supplemented with the landfill gas from the local Clinton County Solid Waste Authority. Landfill gas is created through basic heat and compaction together with some bacteria down there that are breaking down the organic material. The Jersey Shore Steel projects are taking the landfill gas, piping it directly to adjacent facilities that are then using that for their replacement of natural gas. Today, we're getting approximately 30 million BTUs per hour from that landfill. Economically, they have a revenue source that they would not have otherwise. The advantage to Jersey Shore Steel, we pay 70% of the market price of natural gas. That being a little bit more than half of our capacity, we're saving 15% on our fuel cost. All we're dealing with here is shelled corn, the same thing that the farmer would use to feed his animals. We have LMF Manufacturing here in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. We manufacture a biomass furnace. It's a corn furnace 
but it, it will burn oats, wheat, barley, a number of renewable grains. They've been building this particular unit out west for 15 years. We build the same unit as UL approved. We're in our third year of production here. It's going very well. Using shelled corn in a stove specifically designed for burning shelled corn makes a lot of economic sense. Corn as a renewable fuel is considerably cheaper than your conventional fossil fuels. The emissions from corn are indeed very clean, much, much cleaner than the emissions from burning coal or wood, probably comparable to burning natural gas. When people first come in and look and see what we do, I guess their first reaction is they're looking at it, they see it, but they don't believe it. And we have our, our furnace back here that we heat with. I mean, I don't just sell them and make them, I use them. One of the key advantages is the fact that it is renewable. And I'm talking about renewable on a yearly basis. Another attribute is the fact that if we use biomass energy, we are reducing our reliance on foreign sources of petroleum. A third advantage is the fact that it provides an additional revenue stream for our rural economies, which, uh, especially today, are uh, critically important for the rural economies. Some people might be alarmed to hear, well, why would you want to burn corn when we have millions of starving people throughout the world? The problem is not a problem of food supply. We have the capacity, we have the ability, and we do produce enough food for the six billion people in the world. There are problems, however, political problems, infrastructure problems with the distribution, uh, the equitable distribution of food to the six billion people. So if we're going to use corn as an energy source, I want to emphasize that this does not mean there's going to be 20% more starving people in the world. People don't believe that you can do what we do. We show them that and they still don't believe, but eventually, you know, it works. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-770. 2111.